Welcome back guys. Hello. I'm Ash. I'm Zola. And this is Flame and we are Simple Wild Living. Fantastic. We are right in the heart of Honstuhl. I got an invitation, a call from an old friend of mine, a Mexican chef. Not only just a Mexican chef, I think he's one of the best Mexican chefs you have here in Stockholm, Sweden. He calls me up and says, come on over. He wants me to show me his restaurant cook us some food so I said to him can we bring the camera he says sure so I'm bringing the camera I want to bring you guys along we're gonna grab some great Mexican food super super exciting let's go so guys we're here at Chelas this is an absolute, absolute pleasure. Thank you, Jose, so much for inviting me here. This is an absolute honor. Uh, guys, I want to introduce you to Jose, uh, fantastic, fantastic Mexican chef. You invited me, we're gonna cook some food, we're gonna try some of your dishes. Thank you, man, for having me. Yes, absolutely, yeah. it's my honor that you come here. Yeah, tell me a little bit about this place, man. Well, this place is uh, actually uh, a little piece of, of Mexico that we want to bring here. Mm -hmm. uh, just to show the real Mexican, the authentic Mexican cuisine. Uh, just to try to show the local people how we really eat in Mexico. And the Mexicans community that are here, that they just take out a little bit that mm -hmm. down the home, the homesick and just feel like home. Because this is the way how we're cooking here, just, just cooking the way how we're cooking at home. And you also have a wine bar across the road as well. Yes, we just opened another one. It's, uh, it's going good. It's a Latin American wine bar. So yeah, we yeah, have... Yeah, uh, yeah. Over there are more, more wines coming from Latin America and a short menu over there, but it's also traditional uh, menu that we have uh, in all the way. We try to market all, all of Latin America. Cool. And I saw you have some recipes in the book that just came out. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was invited to one book. Uh, it's not my book. It's one book from the chef Soledad Dornelas. Mm -hmm. But she invited me to, to be part of the, of the project, so yeah, the book is already yeah. there in Amazon. It's a really nice book. Yeah. If you want to make uh, Mexican food, it's a really simple recipe that you can find all around the world. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to make a cactus taco. Cool. So it's something very unique here yeah. in Sweden. Uh, there's a lot of people who don't know that we eat cactus in Mexico. So that's what, what we're going to try today. Fantastic, let's do it. So come on guys, let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right, so we're going to make a cactus taco. It's a really traditional taco in Mexico. The cactus we eat a lot in Mexico. So, yeah, let's get started. We just uh, added some mushrooms, some olive oil onion, caramelize a little bit, just saute. We don't want it to caramelize all the, all the way. We just want to half cook everything. Then gonna add some tomatoes. The same, cook a little bit. I normally like to pre-season everything. So every time that I'm adding one ingredient, I just season a little bit, a little bit of salt. Just give the properly time. Now because the, the right color start to come. Now we add a little bit of corn. Saute a little bit. And then the guest. The special guest, the cactus. 
in Mexico with cactus since the native people was there and then we are talking that we are making one recipe that's around 700 years ago just adding a couple ingredients new ingredients like the mushroom the tomatoes but the rest one is one dish that we eat around six six or six hundred years ago so it's very traditional This is ready. Put it apart. Now, the beautiful tortilla. It should be a maize tortilla, the real tortilla. We eat both in Mexico, the, the, the maize and the flour, but the maize is the more traditional. Then we add a little bit of salsa verde. Salsa verde is a really simple recipe. It's a bit big difference with salsa verde and the and the fake chimichurri that I'm making in Sweden. Just to give a little more taste, a little bit of queso fresco. It's not feta, it's queso fresco. Fresh cheese. It's a different recipe that we're making in Mexico. And then a little bit of pumpa seeds. Top it of coriander. More coriander because I like coriander. And in Mexico, if you don't have a lime, if you don't have a lime and you don't have a salsa, it's not a taco. So you need to be enough lime. So there you go. So you need to squeeze the lime a little bit before you take a bite. If you don't have the but lime in Mexico is it's not a taco. It's not a taco. It's not a taco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this thing, man. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I like it. That is really good. Good that you like it. Definitely with the with the lime makes such a big difference. Yes. That's really good. Thank you. Like it. Come on, thank you, man. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I always you cannot deny it. I'm a Mexican. <laughs> Balance of flavor, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice acidity. Nice acidity. Mm -hmm. Nice spiciness is there. I'm not used to eating cactus. You haven't eaten cactus before? No. This is your first time. This is my first time mm -hmm. eating cactus, man. Nice. What I'm trying to show here to the people, the Swedish people, local people, is how we eat in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So, this is how we eat normally in Mexico. When they ask me about Less spiciness, less than um, like your stuff nah, here. So it, it comes how it comes. That's why I put all the ingredients in the taco so they can actually yeah, yeah. see how I sit. Sometimes they ask for the cheese on the side, they say, no, it's everything in the taco. Otherwise, they cannot, they cannot just enjoy it. No, exactly. The way how we, how we eat in Mexico. Hmm? Absolutely fantastic. We're going to head outside. They're going to open up in a second. We're going to have some more food. Really looking forward to it. Yes, absolutely. Here we have some snacks. It's a traditional snack. This is a, the name is Esquites. This one is some my totopos, chips, guac, and some fried beans. 
this one, the skittles, I would recommend you to mix it properly. It's a Mexican street food, so you can also mix all the flavors and feel it how it's together. Right? Buen provecho. So it's finally come, guys. This is the starter. Absolutely fantastic. Homemade tortilla chips, guacamole, the beans. Mm. Oh, that is so good. The acidity, the spice. Some guacamole. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. Really, really, really good. Really, really nice. So hello guys. We have very few two dishes. One is a fish taco. It's originally from the north of Mexico. And this is the bon marro taco from Mexico City. Uh, this one have uh, one special sauce that I will make with mezcal. And this one is a lot of flavors, there's a lot of sauces inside. Mango salsa, chipotle mayo, more flavors inside. Oh, I hope you enjoy man. it. Fantastic, thanks Jose. Thank you. Bone marrow with flank steak, chorizo. This is absolutely gorgeous. Very, very, very traditional. Squeeze the lime. Wow. With that salsa, the bone marrow, the chorizo. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Mm. This is really, really good. Mm. So this is the beer battered fish, pickled cabbage, mango salsa, chapato mayo. I've been waiting for this for such a long time. This is absolutely fantastic. Ooh, so long, crispy. That beer battered fish is so good. Absolutely amazing. So guys, we finished our dinner. It was absolutely amazing. If you ever here, check this place out. The food is absolutely incredible. Definitely worth it. Thanks guys. We will see you in the next one. Cheers.